like and share. Tonight, guys, I'm making, it sounds like that commercial, chorizo pasta. Oh, this is one of my favorite dishes I love to make. I originally had this, the, for the first time I had this at the Crown Casino and it was absolutely beautiful. The amount of flavor in it was amazing. And it's gonna be even better tonight because I'm using chorizo sausage from, now you remember I brought this the other day from Manong Estate? Yes, so this is it. This is their chorizo sausage and I'm gonna put it in my pasta um, and it is gonna taste divine. So let me go over everything that I put in this dish. There is no sauce, it's just oil, um, but the flavor is absolutely beautiful. I did buy olives from Manong, but I'm not using their olives tonight because I'm keeping them for a Zoom party Saturday night to have with our cheese. But I, so I don't have to eat my um, Manong olives. I'm gonna use these guys because I wanna save that, like I said, for my cheese platter Saturday night. But I'm gonna use these olives. Now let's have a look at the rest of the ingredients. Okay, let's keep it simple. All right, so we've got um, the trousseau, like I said. We've got the black olives. Um, I'm just using Italian herbs. Now, normally you can add all your different herbs in. I can go through it, but to keep it simple, and if you wanna do this at home, just use the Italian mix. They're cheap, it's good, it's simple, and it's a good balance. Um, then I'm using spaghetti. I normally do use um, the fettuccine, but tonight I'm just doing spaghetti because I didn't buy it. Um, please make sure you use real garlic for this because, I mean, it just makes the world a difference having the real garlic and a very nice olive oil will make the world a difference. All right, guys, let me start prepping this. Let's get it all happening and let's cook this baby up. Love this pasta. All right, guys, so one thing I do want to say is you can do this in two different ways. Look at my finger. Anyway, so we can do, you can do it, this is the way I like it. I like my my pieces nice and thick and fried, obviously. And then you've got your garlic. I like them big and chunky. Adam likes it light and thin and just like little bits of garlic. So we're going this way tonight, but I'm just showing you, you can do it either way. So I'd prefer, you know, just nice and chunky and rustic. Adam likes it more delicate. So we're gonna go that way and um yeah and i tell you i just opened this and this it smells amazing manong you have done an amazing job love it all right guys so i've cut everything up and in true king duno fashion i forgot about the onion yes so anyway I'll show you how i've cut that i've sliced it just like this maybe manong can help me with what you call that kind of slicing but anyway, so I've got everything ready. That's all ready to go in. Um, and I've got my, over there, I've got my water on, ready to pop the pasta in. And uh, yeah, let's get this started. Okay, add your salt and your oil to your water and boom with the pasta and get that in. And let's start making the sauce. All right, so in with the garlic, keep it simple. And then in with the onion. And um, we're gonna cook that up. And then once that onion starts caramelizing, we're gonna chuck in our chorizo from Manong. All right guys, so now I've got the onion brown and the garlic. I've added a little bit of water, it's a tiny bit of water, just to get them caramelized. See how they're starting to look a bit see-through? Now I'm gonna throw in our chorizo from Manong Estate. Throw that in, okay? and then give that a good mix around. Look how good this is looking. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, and then over here, I've cut up my olives in half. So these are these ones, um, but I've cut them in half. Normally I'd put them in whole if I was doing the chunky version of this. Do you like my little chunky version? Um, but tonight we're doing everything in half, so we're, we're just gonna cut them in half. I throw them in right at the ends because I like them to be nice and juicy rather than all dried out and cooked up. Right, how good is this looking? And then we're gonna add our Italian herbs, just a bit, well, a lot, right? And then we're gonna add our olives. And we're gonna get this mixed around, get it really hot. And over there, we've got our pasta that's nearly ready. We're literally gonna throw it in. So we're not gonna strain it, 
we're literally gonna throw it in and mix this around and it is gonna be amazing. Look at this, look at this, full of flavor. We're gonna add a little bit more oil just to keep that um, pasta nice and moist, otherwise your pasta can dry out. So make sure you get that oil in there because that is what carries the flavor. Guys, now I'm just draining off my pasta like this, simple, literally like this. No, you know, just chuck it in and then give it a good mix around and check this out. Look at this. Oh, there's an escaped olive. She'll be eaten by me. All right, let's keep this going. This is looking fantastic. And this is what you end up with. Look how tasty this looks. Thank you, Manon, for a beautiful chorizo because it is the star of the recipe. Plus the garlic, plus the olives, but Manon, you've killed it with this amazing chorizo sausage. All right, guys, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Thank you, Manon, and uh, have a good night, guys. Guys, so I've got my butter here. I've added my garlic and I've mixed it around. I've got my parmesan sitting here. So basically, I've pre-toasted. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's good old Adam. Um, but I've pre-toasted the um, sourdough. Then I've added the butter. And then I've sprinkled the parmesan. And now I'm going to toast that. And this is going to turn out so good. You just wait. So they are ready to go. Now remember this is on grill. I want that, I want that parmesan cheese to melt.